Hello guys, welcome to Southern Rebel Outdoors. I'm your host, Jay Hanswin. Um, I'm actually going to do an unboxing for you guys. It's been a while since I made a video or anything. I have been busy with my life. I'm working on going into nursing school and other things to eventually become a, a certified nursing assistant. And eventually an LPN and RN. But I am actually going to do an unboxing for you guys on this channel. Um, if you guys want to see it, I'm going to show it to you. But it's the biggest freaking order that I've ordered uh, from any fishing company or any outdoor company at all. Mainly fishing. But and this is one of my local stores, Dunn Sporting Goods. They've been around since like 1960 or something like that. I don't remember. I'll feature there on my back. They tell you, should see. But I'm gonna do an unboxing, and I am filming this actually in my uh, camper that is being renovated into a mobile deer blind. But this is my unboxing from Six Sense Baits out of Willis, Texas. I'm gonna start off with it. That's the bag that they gave me. But this is the biggest order that I've made from the company. I'm going to give you all the colors, all the specs, everything with it. And tell you everything that I've ordered. I ordered two of these, what they call, um, I don't remember, black something, rather jig decal. It's a black and blue jig with a blue eye in it. I don't remember what it is, but it's a six cents decal. I ordered two of those from them. I got two of those from them. There's both of them. Set those over there. And they gave me this for free. I didn't even know that I ordered that. As far as I know, it was not in my order from what I just even read before I started filming this. But that come in for free. They also gave me... A discount code for Waterland lenses. So I would uh I would I'd use it. I mean, as far as I know it's mine. For me, I don't know if it's for everybody else, but that's the code. But I am doing this unboxing because I spent money, quite a bit of money on these each and every one of them um here's a crush 50x i ordered a few of these this is wild lava crawl it's gonna be dynamite i don't know what it is but i prefer to use a lot of the shallow crankbaits i do not do a lot of diving because i'm a bank fisherman i use a lot of shallow if i ever get in a kayak or something like that I still run shallow because where I fish at up here in the Midwest in southeastern Illinois, our water depth is deep and stuff around here. But I just don't, I just don't get around uh, deep ends, well, especially like if I'm in a kayak or anything like that. Oh, and please excuse this. Yes, I know it's pink, but it's a very sentimental gift that it was given to me for absolutely nothing. It goes with my phone that I'm recording on right now. I also picked up a Quakes and picked up a Quake 70 and Blue Gila. I'm a big Six Cents fan. I love Six Cents. They they're the only ones that put out good colors like this that you can find on the market. I also picked up two of these and the Crush Flat 75X and the uh, Pumpkin Seed Sunfish color. I've been looking. For something to match pumpkin seeds. Because we got pumpkin seeds here. In Illinois. Let's see what else. Because I know I've got to get more baits lined up. I picked out some colors that I know people don't throw around here. And other colors that I've gotten. Like crawl colors. I know people can get crawl colors. But I've gotten colors that... You're going to see more dynamite to me. 
Like here's another crush uh, 50X. And it's in the pumpkin seed color. I picked up two of those. So if you see me set one down over here, it's because it's the same color. Now I got uh, a Quake 70, regular Quake 70, not the Quake 70 Thud, but it's just a Quake 70. I got it in the pumpkin seed color as well. Uh, I did pick up another color of this because I got one already that I got ordered last year and when I got a subscription to. I ordered uh, the bull crawfish is what this is. I ordered another one of these, so I have it. It's this flat 75. Not a lot of people, uh, not a lot of bait places around here sell the good craw colors that are more craw like. All right, here's that other 75X and that uh, pumpkin seed color that I was telling you about. I ordered two of those. I ordered quite a bit. Everything that I I ordered from them is right around uh with the two day shipping and everything it cost me right around two hundred and thirty dollars altogether for everything that I bought. Which I mean that's pretty good. I didn't even use a discount code. I didn't think nothing of them until after I'd already placed the order. But I got you I got uh, the Splashback 70 and Black Magic. I love it. I love that Black Magic color because it, it reminds me of a Wicked Crawl color. I got I got one of these. I I run a lot of braid for top water. I'm using uh, I got a setup now that's running 20 pound 20 pound braid for cranking and stuff, and that's what a lot of these are going to go on because I don't want to use fluorocarbon or mono because there's time because last year i learned my lesson with that i was fishing in a big lake called Rin lake around here and i went to cast one of my lures and i don't know what happened with my reel but it for some reason it stopped mid cast and snapped my line and i lost uh did i already put no i lost the black magic in the 70 thud from the Quake 70 Thud. I had I got one of them in one of my subscriptions, I think. It was either in my subscription or I ordered it. I don't remember. I just know I got it. And I ordered it. There's I don't know if I did I order two of those. Yes, I did. I ordered two of them. So that way if I lose one, I still got one. But that's why I'm switching to a uh, braid i switched to braid on my cranking setups it's a lighter braid i don't want nothing heavy because of where i usually fish uh i can it can still get down deep and it's a lot more sensitive and i can really feel like the bottom of the lake and stuff a lot better than i can with uh fluorocarbon which i mean i love fluorocarbon because it's got a lower stretch rate than what monofilament does but yeah, that's pretty much what I got. I even picked up some soft plastic from them. And I even picked up a new jig. So I had two of their jigs. I got a bunch of cranks. This here is the Quake 70 in Crackle Crawl. I mean, you can really see it. Look how detailed that is. That's what I love about Six Sense. They make some of the top quality baits i mean some of the best top qualities and i got a quake 70 thud half ounce in the pumpkin seed color and that's what that one is it's the quake 70 but it's not the thud like that one is but i got it i got two of them two different styles one's a half ounce and the other one's like a five eighths ounce so i mean i'm not going to complain because they're good and I also picked up another one of these because I already got one. It's Crush Splat 75X in the Black Magic series. I love the Black Magic, and I've already uh, I've pulled some of them out of my arsenal for this year at a place called Harrisburg Reservoir. And uh, uh, 
a guy I ran into that I officially that uh started fishing with me this year at times uh he's uh he fell in love with these colors because he's like he's like man i really like that black lure you got he's like where did you get that i was like from six cents baits or six cents fishing and i tell you what these are top notch like i love to love them and i picked up colors that nobody else nobody else has got here's another crush 50x in that pumpkin seed i got two of those like i said so that's pretty much it for those i did get another splashback i've been dying to get poppers i'm every time i go to like walmart or duns well i haven't been to duns in a since last year but I usually go to Dunn's, and Dunn's usually has poppers there, but they usually don't come in colors that I'm hunting for. Like this is bluegill spawn. It's a bluegill color. That's what I'm looking for. That's like with this one. It, it was in a color that I wanted. I wanted the black because I don't want... I just i am picky about what colors I throw because I try to go for the more natural colors and more of like bait fish like bluegill, pumpkin seed war mouth all those styles of bait fish and we got shad here and if i go to the river ohio river which is you know 25 miles down the road from where i'm at uh i got uh moon eye golden eye and all them other kind i picked up i picked up some different colors that I don't think anybody else has been throwing around here. That I, I know for a fact they ain't been throwing around here because they're just they're, these are just juicy colors. This right here is the Quake 70, and it's the color is called Sour Patch, and it looks like and it does look like a Sour Patch kid. And I love the color, and, and it has that crawl color or crawl style to it. I wouldn't be surprised if it don't turn out dynamite this year. I ordered two of them because they was on sale for like six something a piece instead of like nine something. They're dynamite. They're gonna. I'm hoping they're gonna be dynamite colors. A lot of people don't think to get those kind of colors because people don't think that fish will hit them. But I got them in those colors because I. The people around here don't fish with those kind of colors. Um, that's like this one here is the Quake 70 again. I got some Quake, I got a few Quake 70s as well in different colors. This one here is called the Phantom Crawl. Let's see, it's got that like gold, uh, greenish rainbow colored eye. It's a 5 8 ounce. I mean, you can hear the rattle in them. And uh, I picked up some more Quake 70 Thuds. The Thud series. Which are a little bit quieter, but has more of a louder knock to it. Let me get the other one. That's the Quake 70 Thud Half Ounce. And Crawfire, as they call it. Which is almost like a tiger, fire tiger color, pretty much to me. It's a fire tiger. I got some of those baits in some cotton cordales, uh, big O's, I think, uh, from the newer one, not that long after Practical bought them out. I've had them lures for years, and they've never given me a problem. I just, I, I got them because they look just as juicy. And they got that greenish rainbow colored eye to them as well. And like I said, I got two of those. Then we're going to move on to my jig I bought. I bought a 3 8 ounce jig, hybrid jig, divine hybrid jig. It's in the black light color. It's got, actually, can I? Yes, I can. I'm going to actually take it out of the box to show you. Let 
because the coloration in this in this jig is a wicked color it's a newer color that i've not thrown but you can see it now it's got that purple purple with green and bluish colored style uh glitter and stuff in it like it's got the black and blue with some purple and green and blue in there and i got it in the three eighths ounce series i got that it should be a i'm when it comes to jigs i'm a big nut i like my jigs i fish a lot of jigs i fish a lot of swim baits i fish a little bit of everything I also picked up some colors that I know in soft plastics, or in this soft, one particular soft plastic that you will not find around here. And and it should be another dynamite color. I won't know until I start flipping and pitching off the bank and getting into some of the heavy cover. But Stoker Cross in the 3.3 inch. And it's uh like a... Uh, it's called Oxblood's the color of it. Yeah, Oxblood. Um, see if I can I'll get you guys where you can see the colors a little bit better. It's got a purplish color to it, along with a natural brown crawl type color, which makes it the Ox Oxblood color, which is I know it's going to end up being dynamite because I mean you don't see those kind of colors around here and i have i got a pack of these oh, that salty smell i got a pack of these and with uh one of my subscriptions that i got last year i just did a one-time subscription because i picked i picked myself up one of the better ones like it was like the 40 something dollar one then uh a buddy of mine he's been wanting to try six cents and i went ahead and ordered him one and had them both shipped here to my house and they had these in there and they had the uh, uh prawns in there or as Milken fishing says pronica lewinsky and the black and blue color and these come in the um, green pumpkin burst i believe is what they call them which is more of a instead of having like the regular green pumpkin color it has the gold flake to them but that's what I picked up. These should be dynamite. I got I got three, fours, and five aught flipping hooks of the ox. The ox flipping hooks from Six Sense that I love. I that's it's a newer game changer for me. I got my own little flipping setup running 50 pound braid. So it's gonna be a little bit easier for me. Then I picked up some hog wallace. From Six Cents in the June Bug Red color. Yes. June Bug Red color. I'm going to try these out. These are newer. They kind of, according to what it says on the uh, website from Six Cents, is uh, these are supposed to be a cross between like a creature bait and a lizard style with like a beaver style type to it i mean these look these should be dynamite because i when it comes to bass around here uh over the course of years i've always done good on june bug or june bug red even and i've also i do good on black and blues i do good on i mean a lot of different colors but that this is pretty much all I ordered from them. It was total right around two hundred and thirty something dollars or two hundred and thirty dollars with a little bit of change, which I paid for the extra two day shipping from UPS instead of getting FedEx because I've had problems with FedEx before ordering stuff. That's like when I ordered my new bow last year. It come from UPS itself, so I mean I just. And it didn't take that long to get here from out of California. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've ordered so far to try out that are on colors that I that's on my list. Like a lot of the pumpkin seed and crawl colors are going to be the probably more the dynamite colors because we are getting right into spawn right now with bass fishing. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to film 
much i might be able to film when i can or do just youtube shorts on youtube and just go from there try to do some shorts because i really don't do i haven't gotten uh internet to do the full videos with my camera and plus i need to get my laptop fixed i got it to where uh yeah, my screen broke on it, so I can't exactly get on, or I would get on with a live. I'd be doing this on YouTube Live, because I can't on through my laptop as long as I'm on my YouTube. And since I'm on my cell phone, it will not allow me to get on uh, the YouTube Live, because my subscribers are not here. So, I mean, you guys can always like and subscribe on my unboxings and things like that. I go for the main bigger stuff, like the main main unboxings like i just unboxed a bunch of six cents products i also got me a new fishing hat real tree fishing i'm a big real tree fan most people don't know it but i am a huge real tree fan i like their style it's a pretty nice hat i usually um uh, and then with me working in the healthcare field and doing other things and trying to stay in the healthcare field I just don't really have a lot of time and I don't I usually just come home and don't even wear hats I don't wear hats very often unless I'm fishing anymore or I'm out hunting to help keep the sunlight down out of my eyes because it makes things harder to see but guys I really appreciate it give a like and subscribe to the video I will post this on my Facebook and my Instagram for videos and you guys are welcome to uh stay subscribed and pay attention because i will try to get as many videos as i can done right now we're going on 22 minutes but here's a better look at that bag that they put all my baits in and thanks to ben milliken and milliken fishing for helping uh casey the owner of six cents get his baits out on the market and me being a subscriber to Millican fishing and a few other fishings like uh pig patrol the one guy that uh ben Millican when he lived in nebraska used to fish with off and on they always called him porn stash so they do a lot of it I'm going to try to eventually order some more Six Cents eventually down the road because they got more products than I'm looking at that I want. Like I plan on getting the, uh, what they call the Swank, I believe. No, not the Swank. What is it? I don't know. It's some kind of new rubberized swim bait. And I plan on getting some custom made swim baits from a gentleman. I uh, think he's in Missouri. I'm not for sure. Uh, of some bluegill and uh, baby bass colors or bass colors in general because it seems like those colors you know a lot of those natural bait fish type colors do a lot of good especially up here in the midwest and the southern half of my state of illinois i live in southeastern illinois of all places and i do pretty good with some of the local reservoirs and lakes and stuff around here i live close to the ohio river I'm probably a little over an hour away from Kentucky Lake and Lake Barkley. And, I mean, if I want to, I can go down there and get a fishing license and go fish Kentucky. Or I can just jump over to Indiana, get a Indiana fishing license and go fish in Indiana if I wanted to. But I don't. I just stay close to home. It makes it a lot easier on me and things like that. And everything but i do appreciate everybody as much as possible just remember to give a like and subscribe to my channel i want to try to bring back my southern rebel outdoors uh channel i need to remember how to get into it and bring it back i do have uh sro fishing which is my secondary branch off channel of southern rebel outdoors which is mainly focused on fishing i don't that's probably going to be the place that I'm going to start really focus on trying to grow. Because I know fishing is real popular on YouTube. Hunting is hunting and that it is popular. But, you know, you have to be careful with the YouTube uh, 
regulations and stuff that you can get in big trouble for it but with these kind of videos i don't have to worry because it's fishing i'm not really saying a whole lot other than you know i gotta chew in my mouth that's typical of me but this here is what all i've got you guys have seen it everything so far they these are all shallow mainly all shallow running crankbaits um then you got like i said you got the uh, quake quake series lipless crankbaits i got those and some dynamite colors like i said with that new sour patch color and i got them this one like fire tiger color they're pretty dynamite and that's that that's that sour patch color gonna do some good and plus i got my decals now that i can put on things and help support six cents so i appreciate y'all and i'll catch y'all later thank you